Hello guys, in today's video we'll be going over how to unlock the Armor of the Wind set. Let's get right into it. So first you're going to want to head here to the Ihena Shrine. And from this shrine you're going to want to head east over here to Tingle Island. There's going to be a hole here in the center. You're going to drop down the hole. And when you're down here you're going to want to mark this area right here on the map. It's called Davi Island. Alright, so once you drop down here there's going to be a bunch of really high walls around you. But right here you're going to come across this rock on the wall. You're going to want to break the bra. All right, once you smash your way through that boulder, you'll be in this cave right here. You're going to want to go straight. You'll end up right here on this end of the cave, and you'll be facing this wall right here. Once again, you're going to want to smash these rocks. All right, once you get to those rocks, you're going to go straight through this. You're going to keep following the marker. You're going to want to come across this pin right here. There should be a bunch of blue rocks. I think you get what I'm about to say, but yeah, you have to, you have to smash the rocks. Once you smash through those rocks, you're going to want to go straight through this cave. You're going to see this platform right here, and in this chest you'll find the Cap of Wind. Alright, next you're going to want to head to the Runicate Shrine, and then you're going to head west a little bit over to this chasm right here. You're going to drop down. Immediately after you drop down, you're going to want to pull out your glider, and you're going to want to go here to this Kawamaro Light Route, and I'll show you where that is on the overworld map. That is at the Aruma Walk Shrine on the overworld. And from this Kawamaro Light Route, you want to go west here. Basically, you want to go down this path, go south a little bit, you'll end up here at the Coho Canyon Mine. And in this chest, you're going to find the Tunic of the Wind. Alright, next you're going to head here, south of Nipluda. You're going to see this chasm right here. You're going to drop down, and basically you're going to want to make your way about right here. So I recommend putting a pin right here. I'll put that right there for you. That is right there, east of Stinger Cliffs. And then you're going to want to head south, and you're going to end up here at the Mamuthus Light Route. That is the Sifumim Shrine on the Overworld. From there, you can head east a little bit over the abandoned Luralin mine. From this path is just basically here at the tip of Soka Point, and this is where you're going to want to end up. And in this chest you'll find the Trousers of the Wind. Alright, next you're going to want to head to Laneru Wetlands, and here you're going to find the Wetlands Chasm. You're going to drop down there, end up at this light route right here. You're going to want to head east, and you'll end up at this light route right here, which is right here on the overworld. And then finally from this light route you can head east over to Tabal Grove, right here on the overworld. There's going to be a tree stump here, and in this chest you'll find the Sea Breeze Shield. For the boomerang, you're going to want to head back to the Runicate Shrine, drop through the chasm, go over to this shrine again, go west, north, over to this light route right here. I recommend going north through this path right here. And then you want to glide down here to Mu Akutar light route. And then you want to head south toward this pin that is right on top of Fever Peak. You're going to see this chest right here. And in this chest, you'll find the Sea Breeze Boomerang. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. We're on the road to 1,000 subs. This was Bloody Book. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.